just cruising in my newest pair of size 4 jeans. Look at this, one of my first pairs that fit the best ever. And guess what? In this video, I'm gonna show you two 10 minute meals I'm eating that help me go from a size 24 to a size four. What? <laughs> <laughs> I like your socks. Thanks, Costco. Oh. <laughs> Guess what we're making? Chicken wraps and barbecue chicken pizza. I'm gonna start with the chicken wraps and this is what you need. First, a bag salad. Any flavor or any type, it's gotta be a kit that has the dressing and everything included. And the one that I'm using is from Costco. It comes in a two pack, Taylor Farms Creamy Dill Pickle and it's a chopped salad kit. So whatever you choose, we're just aiming that 100 grams or one cup is 150 calories. So whatever one you would like, um, just in that calorie range. We need two whole wheat tortillas. These are the ones from Walmart. We're making two meals, one for Sassy and one for this one. And then a rotisserie chicken. We got this one from Costco and this is our favorite because you get a really big one for a really good price where we live in Canada. I'm making this video, the friends, because I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years. On my journey, I learned in order to stay on track, I needed to love what I was eating, but I also needed it to be quick and easy to prep or I wasn't gonna stick to it. So tasty, quick and easy meals like these two not only make me love my food and not feel like I'm dieting, but it, I'm motivated to do it every day because it's so easy and quick and the food literally, like I love it so much, I wanna stay on track. First, I'm gonna shred all of the chicken because we are gonna use some of it for tomorrow's meal, which is the barbecue chicken pizza. So I'm just gonna open this up and cut the little ropey thingy off. Okay, I got the ropey thing off and I learned this off Google, by the way. You put your fingers in the hole <laughs> and then you pull the back off like that so that the legs are separated and you get mostly the meat and you can just pull the skin right off like this and then I'll be able to shred the meat pretty easily. Shred your chicken cutie, shred your chicken cutie, shred your chicken cutie all the time. I didn't want to miss this awesome song you were singing. Yeah, I know, you gotta get it cause like we were both shredding a chicken, but when you're singing shred your chicken cutie, like you gotta get that on camera, but. Okay, cute bunnies, now we got the chicken shredded. We're gonna weigh out 100 grams for each meal. Do do so I just got a paper plate here and I zeroed out the scale. You can eat your chicken cold in the wrap or you can heat it in the microwave for a few minutes. This chicken we bought yesterday so it's cold. Sass and I decided we're gonna eat it cold but a couple minutes in the microwave or 30 seconds, whatever you like and then you can have a cute salad wrap. Okay, so we got the chicken weighed out. Now, I'm gonna take one of these bags of salad. This is cool how they split that up into two bags because often like when we get those huge salads in the plastic containers, some of the lettuce goes bad or we can't eat it all because it's just two of us. Exactly, so that one will stay sealed and then we can use it for other meals. And um, what I love is also, each bag comes with its own kit, so you get the dressing and everything. So that's what it looks like, and Sassy and I have had this from Costco before, and we really like it. It comes with, last time um, it comes with dill, and we actually forgot the seasoning, so that's the first thing that we're putting in this time. So and it's we really that. good, so you don't wanna forget that. Yeah, if you guys have never tried this, and you have a Costco membership, I, I would say you have to like dill pickle because it's very strong dill pickle. Yes, you do have to like dill pickle, but this is amazing. So it comes with the seasoning, the croutons, some crumbled feta, and then like a creamy dill 
what is on the bag? It's like a creamy dill ranch dressing, I think. That's the French side. Oh yeah, uh, creamy dill pickle ranch dressing. So I'm gonna, it smells so good. Oh yeah. Empty this in, mix this up, and then I'll show you how to put this beautiful wrap together. This is how you toss your salad, guy. <laughs> Isn't this the cute salad, by the way? Look how pretty that is. It's the cute salad, it's the cute salad, it's the cute salad all the time. Hey! Okay, so I'm gonna take a wrap and put it on plate. And then, of course, this one is a cute plate for thumbnail action. Then I'm gonna measure one cup of this salad out, put it down the middle. What'll happen is um, any of the salad left, we, we have like extra calories saved that will split the rest of the salad, but what goes in is one cup each here. And then I'm gonna put the chicken on top. And I like using paper plates because sometimes it gives you a good sprinkle action when you fold it up and do that. All right, the friends, so this is what it looks like, the wraps. Now, after thumbnail action, you just roll it up and you enjoy it. So two servings and then with the remaining chicken, some of it is going for the barbecue chicken pizza. Sassy and I are gonna eat that for dinner tomorrow. So we'll be back to show you how to make that one. But it'll be the same video. You same won't video. have to wait till tomorrow. We you will. don't have to wait. We gotta wait. So, um, some of this will go in the fridge and then the rest will go in the freezer for meals at another date so that we just have something super quick to pull out of the freezer. Um, so before I taste test this, the calories for the whole wrap with the chicken and the salad is 480 calories, 23 grams of fat, 42 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of protein. Wow. And this is gonna be super flavorful. It took less than 10 minutes to prep, and it's gonna keep me full. You won't, you'll want some salt and pepper for the chicken. All right, look, salt and pepper this up. Can't open the pepper. There you go. Come on, little pepper. There you go, buddy. Okay, then I think we'll do like one of these little. Oh, little beautiful. Ones. Yep. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That'll be belly filling too because of the volume and the low calorie, and that's what we like. Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. The dill pickle flavor is so good with the chicken and the wrap. Everything tastes so fresh and yummy. Can't wait to eat this in my belly. We'll see you in a few seconds for tomorrow's dinner. Nothing. <sighs> Welcome to day two. We are making barbecue chicken pizza. I got the oven preheated to 425 degrees and this is what you need. 200 grams of the rotisserie chicken that we shredded for the chicken wraps. I've already weighed this out, so there's the 200 grams we need for the pizza. A cauliflower pizza crust that comes with the sauce. This is one of our favorites. This is from Costco. It's the Molinero's cauliflower pizza kit. You get two of them and two sauces. We're gonna be using one crust and one sauce. You need some calorie wise barbecue sauce. This one is the Kraft barbecue calorie wise and we need two tablespoons. 30 grams of shredded cheese. This is the marble cheese from Costco. You can use whatever kind you like. And about a third of a small red onion, thinly sliced. Oven's ready. So what we're gonna do is get one of these crusts out. Now, if you don't have calorie wise, we also like using the no sugar added barbecue sauce. If it's, you know, similar calories to this, which this one is 20 calories per two tablespoons. I think for one tablespoon, I believe. No, two oh, tablespoons. for two tablespoons? Wait, can you read that? It's hard to read in the camera. Oh yeah, you're right. For two tablespoons, it's 20 calories. This too, like if you like a thin crust tortilla wrap or can't find cauliflower. What we're looking for for this, just for reference, 
This is for a quarter of the pizza crust. It's 130 calories. Yeah. And then the sauce for a quarter of the package is 15 calories. So just so you, you don't have to find the exact same one because I know sometimes you guys say you can't. Just the closest thing, you know, doesn't have to be exact. So we're just gonna sauce this up with the package of sauce. I'm gonna use the whole thing. Oh, and you know what I wanna say? Yesterday, when we made those chicken wraps and Sassy recommended the salt and pepper, that really did, salt and peppering the chicken really did take the wrap flavor up a notch. I was actually surprised, like I'm a huge dill pickle fan, obviously, but like, mm -hmm. I was surprised how well it went with the chicken and the salad and everything. I really wanted, like, we've made so many different chicken wraps and we've used all different kinds of bag salad, but we've never used that one before, but we love it. So I thought, why not put it in the wraps that we love so much and wow, was it ever great. So now that this is sauce, actually I'm just gonna put this a bit more to the side, to the sides here. What I'm gonna do is put that aside and I'm going to put the chicken in a bowl and toss it with the barbecue sauce. So two tablespoons of that. There you go. Just toss them in a bowl until it's all pretty well coated like so, there we go. It's like pulled chicken. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. I love this cauliflower crust and this dinner, it's so quick and easy. All right, that looks pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is put most of the cheese down first. And I don't know, I love this Costco cheese because it really it melts really well in the oven. So we'll do that. And then I'm just gonna put the chicken all over the pizza. Mm, I think this is gonna take us to Flavor Town Sassy. <laughs> Where are you, Guy Fieri? I wanted to be like a cool person there. <laughs> well, I have to tell you something. You did it. Oh great, it's all I ever wanted. Flavor town, she says. Yeah, I heard that somewhere. I wanted to be cool. <laughs> Was I? Yes. yes. Everyone's gonna be using flavor town now. Yeah, you totally invented that thing. I did. Yeah. I'm the OG of flavor town. <laughs> That's so oh, gosh. Okay, so now we're chickened. You know um, when sometimes you, you realize that you're just, you, you need to stop talking and your head's like, stop talking, but you can't, and you just keep on talking? I never have that, because everything I say is like super cool, you know? So, I was just mentioning that, not anything to do with you or specific or anything. It would never be no. me. Everything I say is gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna sprinkle on the onions. That's and... Italian for onion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Italiano pizzeria, make a pizza for me. I just made that up on the spot. That's pretty good, actually. And my husband, uh. And my husband, uh. He the cute, uh. We love my husband, uh. I think that's good for onion. And then I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of the cheese mm. on top to make a PF de resistance. Dance. And then Sass, I'm gonna take your cue from yesterday and do a little S and P action. Is that what chefs say? Can I be a chef? That's exactly what chefs say. S and P action. Yeah. Wow! Beautiful. Look, look how cute that is. What? I'm a masterpiece. Okay, so now we're gonna bake this directly on the rack at 425 degrees for six minutes. And then I'm going to turn my broiler on high and broil it for one minute or until the cheese is bubbly and it's golden-y. So let's do it, cuties. Oh, hey there. While we're waiting, <laughs> while we're waiting for the pizza to cook for six minutes, 
Grab yourself some cool stuff. This is like. why we can't integrate ads <laughs> smoothly. Because of you. <laughs> Grab yourself some hoodled or HTLT seps. I am sponsored by this company and these are the limited batch proteins, like the holiday protein powders. I have tried both of these, so is Sass. Guys, these are amazing. Like, if you like pumpkin pie, this tastes exactly like pumpkin and pie. And if you like Greg Nog, this tastes exactly like Greg Nog. Like, no, like Greg's and Nog's. <laughs> So anyway. Put Greg's and Nog's <laughs> together and that's what you get. That's what you get. It's really, really good. Um, so use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. They have like a ton of flavors. Like Sassy was saying like, he's putting all the proteins in and he's like, you, you got everything. Yeah, there's like a strawberry cheesecake if you like cheesecake. We love cereal. They have luckier marshmallow and fruit cereal. They also have a s'mores, which I love s'mores, a chocolate donut. They've got like pre-workout, everything. But these, but these are, these are definitely limited. limited. So just for the holiday season and I'm gonna do tap them. Yeah. And uh, so go get them now if you want them before they run out of stock. And, and use code Nicole. A lot of people are not using it. You got to use code Nicole. You get 10% off. Yeah, save yourself 10% off and do the same. If you want to know exactly, like if you're liking these two recipes, you want to know more of what I ate to go from a size 24 to a four and lose the 130 pounds total, keep it off for seven years. I have weight loss eBooks. The links are all down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. A lot of people aren't using the code. They're buying the book. So use the code and save yourself 10% there as well. That was smooth. Smooth. As ice. Nailed it. Yeah. Is ice smooth? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> if you Zamboni it. Yeah. All right, the friends, this is what it looks like out of the oven. It makes four servings of two slices per serving, so you can slice it into eight. I'm going to eat two servings, which is half of the pizza, and that's going to be 577 calories, 10 grams of carbs, 25 grams of fat, and 32 grams of protein. Wow. So that's pretty amazing because for reference, I looked up what four slices of barbecue chicken pizza from a takeout restaurant would be, 1,200 calories. Yee. Mm. Yee. So this is like half less than half actually the calories and it's gonna be super And tasty. I wish you guys could smell this, it smells so good. It smells amazing. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you love these treaty little dinner lunches. Thanks so much for watching guys. Love you, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to watch more vids to see how I love my food and get the great results and this love life and <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe if you didn't know way. Check you in the next one. Cuties, peace muffins. Ho ho! <laughs> Your hips don't lie, that's one thing. They were built for grooving. I like these so much, I got two more pairs. I ordered them last night. See this? <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it. You can do it.